So, I'm going to do a quick unboxing here. This is from uh, our good buddy Chauncey at All Things Beer 510. I'm pretty sure everybody probably watches Chauncey. He has amazing, amazing videos. He's been doing more than just beer reviews lately. Uh, he's been doing, he's going to be doing something for uh, San Francisco Craft Beer Week. <coughs> um, and so I sent him a box around Christmas time. Uh, you probably saw him as a box and I wrapped them all because I'm funny like that and I love Christmas. Um, he sent me a box. UPS lost it. It got all the way to like this town over from me and then it got sent back and then it just got lost and the dude was kind enough to uh, I told him he didn't have to do it but he said he was going to send some some beers over anyways um, so yeah let's see what we got I just opened I had the box opened already so I didn't have to, you know, to watch me cutting it um, but I haven't seen what's in it yet well except I saw the top of this but I didn't see what it was <laughs> um, this is New Glory Craft Brewery Batter Up German Chocolate Imperial Stout Cacao Powder Lactose Vanilla Beans Cacao Nibs and Toasted Coconut Holy shit, that sounds ridiculous. Out of Sacramento. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was actually just in SF uh, for work, and the only day I could really get together was on Monday, and Charles, he was just starting his paternity leave, because uh, as I'm sure if you start watching those videos, you know, said he had a, a beautiful daughter. Um, and I get it, I'm a dad, so um, I said, don't worry about it. Um, Imperial style with chocolate, graham crackers, and marshmallows. Faith no s'more. Who's the brewery on this one? I don't think. Oh, it's Alvarado Street. Nice. Eight and a half percent. Oh man, dude, you know I love me some good stouts. I'm good. Neither of these have coffee in them, so you know Mike can drink them. <laughs> what else we got here? Another Alv Al Al Alvarado Street. Love those guys. Um, hazing saddles, eight percent dipper, uh, yeast driven dipper. Nice. There's a price tag on it. So does that mean you guys can get Alvarado Street in cans, like in distribution? I never see them when I'm out there. That's crazy. I thought it was, I thought they were only brewery. Um, okay, what else we got? And as usual, it's really good packaging. Oh. Oh yes. So I was I actually hit up field work on Monday when I was there, but uh this is Galaxy Sauce and this beer is did I have Galaxy Juice or Galaxy Sauce before? I don't know I don't remember the difference. Um I think I think I had Galaxy Juice. Um this this beer I've been down to try. Um and they didn't have an obvious on draft when I was there or I would have I would have got some prowlers of it, but um Yeah, shit. You gotta love me some field work. And then last but not least, more field work. Uh, wax their India pale ale at 7.3%. Um, doesn't say, oh, Enigma hops. Perfect. So Kyle, no, I probably wouldn't like this. <laughs> um, this is awesome. So two badass Imperial stouts and three looks like hazy IPAs. He knows exactly what I like. It's perfect. Um, so Chauncey cheers to, um, for, 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 for sending this out. And thanks for actually, you know, resetting the box after the last one got shipped. I know that probably, um, probably cost you some extra, extra money. Uh, so it's much appreciated. Can't wait to do these. Um, damn, these are going to be delicious. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you've had any of these beers. Let me know what you think of them. And uh, yeah, I'm Sean. This is Nerd Sense Unboxes. Cheers. Cheers.